bruv, you are having a bubble. What is going on everybody and welcome to my second video of the day which is a silver hybrid squad build and now I have been using silver players lately just because ultimate team is pretty much dying out until FIFA 14 of course. Now using silver players has sort of made this game fun again which is pretty cool so I suggest you go and try it out if you are burned out on ultimate team of course but you know it's fun to try new things out and if you did miss my previous video from today is a silver player predictions on FIFA ultimate team for silver. Some of you might enjoy that so go and check that out if you want a few potential five star skillers in there and yeah it'll be awesome if you can drop a like on that video and on this video of course but we're going to get into the team now we're using a 4-2-3-1 formation a formation that I've never really used in all my team before but it is a pretty solid formation I didn't lose with this team and in goal we do start off with the Birmingham goalkeeper Jack Butland and he is a very solid goalkeeper in this game he is 6 foot 4 75 reflexes 70 diving and 67 speed which makes him a pretty solid keeper and I was so surprised with how good he really was man seriously he would save so many shots and yeah I didn't lose the game with him as I said but yeah this first centre back in this team is his Birmingham City partner Curtis Davis who has 72 pace and he cost me around 75k and he scored me one header which was pretty decent and all you can pretty much expect from a defender pretty solid centre back and now we're going to move on to another solid centre back who is Jan Ker Kershaw I think that says his name I'm not quite sure you Germans can correct my pronunciation but anyway he's a really solid centre back as you can see there 72 pace 70 defending and he is also 6 foot 5 and I believe he's also moved to Bayern Munich in real life so what a centre back they've got there but anyway the left back off this team is a player moved from Dortmund to the Bundesliga 2 who is Chris I'm not going to pronounce his second name because I know I'm going to pronounce it wrong because it has that weird thing above the O but he is a pretty solid left back and the right back we're going to move on to now is Hugo Malo the Salta Vigo silver right back and he is a pretty decent right back 83 pace obviously coming in handy 73 defending and he also got me a couple of assists from corners and the CDM of the team now I can't pronounce that second name again so we're just going to call him Marco for the purpose of this video but he is a solid CDM 72 defending as you can see I'm not going to read the stats out there all round solid stats for a CDM the lowest thing on his card is shooting but you know I'm not going to really be shooting with a CDM so that is not bad and this guy here from Santos Laguna Mark Crosas the Spanish CDM originally a CM but I've converted him back well actually I bought him as a CDM so that's why he cost me 3,100 coins He's much cheaper in CM if you want to go and pick him up, but now one of the star people of the team is Iago Aspas. Of course, moved to Liverpool, but I'm using his Celta Vigo version for the purpose of this video, and he links up nicely there with the right back. And this guy had some solid finishing indeed. I only played him at camp. Imagine what he's like at striker. Like his shot is pretty sick for a silver. He also has great dribbling, so he can beat players easily. I might try his Liverpool version in a silver Premier League team when I do get some time, but. The other centre attacking middle of the team now is Michael Ortega, the Colombian 5 star skiller and he didn't score any goals worth putting in this video, it was a pretty scrappy goal, the one goal he scored is pretty terrible, I'm not going to lie, worse than a cutback, it was just rebound after rebound so I'm not going to include that in these clips but yeah one goal but he is a decent player, good dribbling and obviously the 5 star skills come in handy but the centre forward now, wow this guy was absolutely incredible, 10 games, 13 goals, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot and incredibly quick. And has decent strength look at that just absolutely tumbling the defender over there and you know his skills did come in useful and his shot was superb 70 shooting on a silver is brilliant and best of all he's a pretty cheap player so go and try him out if you haven't tried him out already he kind of reminds me of the al shawari from last year an absolutely amazing player but now the star man 20 goals in 10 games from hugo rodiega now i was so surprised with this guy like you know you wouldn't think this guy would be able to be so good but he does have high low work rates which are the perfect work rates for a striker in my opinion you know the runs they make with those work rates are absolutely incredible and look at this guy he's so strong his shot is unbelievable honest to god and you know from corners he's a big big threat headers will definitely go in he's a tall player i think he's six foot amazing shooting as i mentioned before look at this freaking insane shot on this guy i'm so surprised at how good he is and i'm never gonna sell him i'm just gonna keep him in my club probably use him in a couple of different teams maybe a premier league team with my up front but that is the end of the team guys i hope you did enjoy it maybe going building yourself is relatively cheap i think Except for the Inform, you know, if you can't afford Inform Davis, just go for the normal version, who will cost you around 400 coins because he's a non-rare. 
But anyway, if you did enjoy, please do drop a like, subscribe and check out my video from earlier. Maybe drop a comment saying who your favourite silver player is in all my team. Personally, mine's Mayuka because of his 5-star weak foot and 4-star skills. But anyway guys, I will see you tomorrow for another video. Take care.